So what is the answer for cleaner power in Pennsylvania? Renewable energy consists of several forms of producing energy from sources that constantly renew. Things like wind and solar and hydropower very much so. And the key thing is they don't require fuel. So they don't have pollutants, they don't add to climate change problems, and they don't have cost escalation in the future. Pennsylvania has a huge potential to develop and use our renewable energy resources. In fact, the experts tell us that we could make something on the order of 5,000 megawatts of wind energy. Well, what does that mean? Essentially, it would represent about 30% of the residential electricity that we use and, and consume, so in our homes and small businesses. For many years, we've used our own mountains to produce power by burning coal dug from deep within the ridges and hillsides that surround our homes. Now we've discovered a way to provide the very same power from another source atop the same mountains without causing any further damage to our environment. How does wind generate energy? Well, it's really the same as coal or nuclear. They heat water to make steam, and then pressurized steam turns a turbine that makes energy. It's exactly the same thing with wind or hydropower. It is the flow of air or water that turns the turbine and generates electricity. Why is wind power the best alternative of renewable energy for Pennsylvania? Because of the amount of potential that it offers to the Commonwealth, we have a lot of ridge lines in Pennsylvania and wind, wind power is dependent on elevation and wind speed. And in Pennsylvania, the highest wind speeds are found on our ridge lines. Uh, we have a lot of those in the Commonwealth. Some of them are sensitive, uh, but there is a, a tremendous potential. As much as 15% of the state's energy can come from wind power. It's a zero polluting uh, source of energy. Val, you asked why wind? And it's not because wind is the perfect solution. We actually need many different solutions. It's because it's the least harmful of the solutions. It's the best of the bunch. And one of the key reasons that it's the best is wind, like other renewable energy sources, doesn't use fuel. So we have no pollution. We have no health issues with airborne. We have no carbon dioxide for climate. We have no changing costs. Here in Pennsylvania, we now have nine operating wind farms. And some of these farms have been operating for up to seven years. So we have a pretty good handle on those issues and how to address those issues. Well, we. As you can see in my township, we are very much affected by the coal plants that, that surround us and the two that are located in our township. And we also have the wind farm here in our township. The coal plants put out a lot of, of dirt. Uh, it lowers our air quality. Uh, Schuylkill County is number one in pediatric asthma. So that is a very, very big concern for us around here. I think that the wind farms have been a blessing for us because they locate them in mountainous area where there's sparsely any population and it's where the wind blows. I'm a long time resident of the township. Uh, I worked for the forestry yard out of high school. Uh, I've been, uh, I'm an avid hunter and uh, I live about a half a mile here a half a mile from the windmill. I would rather have a windmill farm a half a mile from my home than a nuclear power plant. We, we have very little complaints now from the hunters. The other complaints we had, we had a few that were concerned with the humming, that there's a, sometimes you hear a slight humming. There, there's, that was just like here and gone. There was a complaint, then when people got used to it, it is not a large humming. The flickering of the plants was a concern. That is no longer, seems to be a complaint from anyone. I think uh, there are 16 birds a year that could be killed by the wind farm from the 12 uh, uh, towers that we have going in our township, but that's no more than what an aircraft would, would uh, uh, come in contact with during a flight. 
Up and down the East Coast, we have found that bats have been killed more so than birds. We do find some songbirds. In Pennsylvania right now, we haven't had any eagles killed. But like again, we don't have much data. It's very limited. Uh, the Pennsylvania Wind Energy Voluntary Cooperative Agreement is in place. It's about a year old. And we're working with developers to get that information, to get that data so we can make some better judgment. If you don't get educated on these wind farms, it's not going to do anybody any good. If everybody sits around and argues about it, it doesn't get anything accomplished. You must get educated on how to need wind farms.